let's get ready to rumble. Ah. Today, we'll be sharing news about the stars we've lost in the past 24 hours. And as always, we'll also feature today's top headlines. Immortal News serves as your daily source for obituary news of individuals who have significantly contributed to society. We carry out our responsibilities with dignity, without exaggeration, and with honesty. To support our work, please hit the like button. It means a lot. Thank you. Number 8. Mudea Sedic, known as Tumad, passed away at the age of 23 on Tuesday in his Los Angeles area home under circumstances that are being investigated as a possible overdose. Tumad was a vibrant force on YouTube, celebrated for his dynamic blend of skits, gaming commentary, and a deep appreciation for internet culture. His creativity and unique sense of humor garnered him millions of followers, making him a beloved figure in the online community. Tumad's legacy extends beyond his digital footprint. He was a creator who could effortlessly blend comedy with insightful commentary, making the internet a more entertaining space. His meme, Good Night Girl, I'll See You Tomorrow, is a testament to his ability to capture the whimsy and unpredictability of internet humor, leaving a lasting impression on his audience. Despite recent controversies and a noticeable withdrawal from content creation, his impact remains indelible. He was more than just a content creator. Chumad was a symbol of how passion and creativity can resonate across the digital expanse, connecting people from all walks of life. His sudden departure leaves a void in the hearts of fans and fellow creators alike, a reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the lasting legacy we leave behind. As we reflect on his contributions, it's clear that Tumad's spirit will continue to inspire those who live in the realms he so loved. His journey, though tragically cut short, encourages us to pursue our passions with fervor and to cherish the connections we make along the way. Tributes to Tumad Number 7. Angela Chow, the CEO of the Foremost Group and a notable figure in both American politics and international business relations with China, tragically passed away at the age of 50 on February 10th in a car crash in Texas. As the leader of a global shipping empire, she not only continued the legacy of her family's deep-rooted connections in the United States and China, but also championed for more environmentally sustainable practices within the shipping industry. Born in America to a family with a storied history of overcoming adversity and achieving success, Angela never forgot her origins, dedicating her life to fostering understanding and cooperation between East and West. Under her guidance, the Foremost Group emphasized the importance of innovation an environmental responsibility by investing in vessels that could operate on alternative fuels, showcasing her commitment to both her family's business and the planet's future. Her work extended beyond the realm of shipping. Angela was deeply involved in cultural and philanthropic efforts, serving as an advisory director of the Metropolitan Opera and contributing to the Asian American Foundation to combat discrimination. Angela's personal life was marked by resilience and dedication. Following the loss of her first husband, Bruce Wasserstein, she found love again with Jim Breyer, with whom she shared a son. Remembered by friends as genuine and compassionate, she made a lasting impact on everyone she encountered. Her untimely departure leaves a void in the hearts of those who knew her and admired her achievements. The Chow family, along with her husband, son, and sisters, mourns the loss of a remarkable woman whose life was a testament to the power of bridging cultures and pursuing excellence with integrity. Tributes to Angela Chow
Number 6. Diana Carew, an Emmy-winning television producer, celebrated for her pioneering work in the entertainment industry, passed away at 81 on November 25th at her home in Glendale, following a valiant battle with cancer. Carew's illustrious career spanned several decades, during which she executive produced more than 60 movies and miniseries, leaving an indelible mark on television and becoming a trailblazer for women in media. Her work, ranging from the critically acclaimed Blind Ambition to Emmy Award-winning children's programming like Starstruck and Cougar, showcased her versatility and commitment to storytelling that resonates. Diana's journey in the entertainment world began at Talent Associates, where she broke barriers as the first female producer, later continuing to shape the industry with her leadership at Time Life Television, Highgate Pictures, and ultimately founding her own production company. Beyond her professional achievements, Carew dedicated herself to mentoring the next generation. Sharing her knowledge and passion as a teacher at the University of Texas Austin UTLA Center of Entertainment and Media Studies in Burbank. Her legacy is adorned with numerous awards, including multiple Emmys, a Peabody Award, and recognition for her contributions to children's entertainment and social issues through film. Diana's life was not just about the stories she brought to the screen, but also about the lives she touched, the paths she forged for other women in the industry, and the family she cherished deeply. Remembered for her creativity, determination, and generosity, Diana Carew's influence will be felt for generations to come. Tributes to Diana highlight her remarkable ability to connect, inspire, and entertain, leaving a void in the hearts of those who knew her and admired her work. As we celebrate her life and achievements, we're reminded of the impact one individual can have on an industry and the people within it. Tributes to Diana Carew. Number five, William Post, who helped create Pop Tarts, passed away at the age of 96 on Saturday in Grand Rapids, Michigan. His invention of Pop-Tarts, in collaboration with Kellogg's in 1964, has left a lasting impression on American culture, becoming a beloved snack enjoyed by millions. This simple yet delightful pastry encapsulates the essence of American ingenuity and the joy of a sweet treat. Post's contribution to the world of quick breakfast options has made mornings a bit brighter for people across the nation and around the globe. Pop-Tarts have not only satisfied sweet tooths, but have also become a symbol of American pop culture, featured in art, parodies, and even set to star in a movie directed by Jerry Seinfeld. Beyond his professional achievements, Post's story is one of perseverance and positivity. Starting from humble beginnings as the son of Dutch immigrants, he rose to significant heights in the food industry, always pushing the boundaries of what was possible. His legacy is not just in the snack he helped create, but in the example he set for innovation, hard work, and determination. William Post's journey from washing trucks to influencing breakfast tables worldwide teaches us that no dream is too small and no idea is too far-fetched. He leaves behind a legacy that extended beyond Pop-Tarts, touching on the values of creativity family, and community service. Tributes to William Post for his remarkable contribution to making our lives a little sweeter. His son, Dan Post, remembered him for his positivity and the profound impact he had, not only on the culinary world, but also on the lives of those around him, by always encouraging others to exceed expectations. Tributes to William Post
Number 4. Ken Plone passed away at the age of 88 on February 13th, leaving behind a monumental legacy as an American college football quarterback and a star of the Canadian Football League. Beginning his career at the University of Iowa, Plone led the Hawkeyes to a historic Big Ten Conference title and a Rose Bowl victory in 1957, earning him the title of Most Valuable Player. His transition to professional football saw him choose the Winnipeg Blue Bombers over the NFL's Cleveland Browns, a decision that would define his illustrious career in Canada. Over a decade with the Blue Bombers, Plone's leadership on the field resulted in six Grey Cup appearances and four championships. With his 1961 Grey Cup game-winning touchdown being etched in the annals of football history. Beyond his athletic prowess, Plone was celebrated for his contributions off the field, making Winnipeg his home and engaging with the community through various roles, including sports commentary. His induction into multiple Halls of Fame, including the Canadian Football Hall of Fame and the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame, speaks volumes to his impact on the sport. In 2011, Winnipeg honored him by naming a road after him, further cementing his status as a local and national sports icon. His later years were marked by recognition of his legacy, including his depiction on a Canada Post commemorative stamp series or the 100th Grey Cup. Plone's passing is felt deeply by fans, former teammates, and the broader football community, who remember him not only for his incredible athletic achievements, but also for his character and dedication to his community. Tributes to Ken Plone reflect the respect and admiration for a man who was as much a champion off the field as he was on it. Tributes to Ken Plone Number 3. Alec Mills, born in 1932, who embarked on his cinematic journey as a T-boy at Carlton Hill Studios, passed away on February 12th. From his humble beginnings at the age of 14, Alec's passion for cinema catapulted him through the ranks of the film industry, eventually becoming a celebrated cinematographer known for his work on iconic James Bond films, among others. His early career was marked by learning from luminaries like Harry Waxman, BSC, through whom Alec honed his craft on films such as Contraband Spain and Blow Up. Alec's versatility and skill led him to work on several Walt Disney movies as a focus puller and later as a camera operator on the Saint TV series and his first James Bond movie, Honor of Majesty's Secret Service. His transition to cinematographer on the island adventure showcased his readiness to embrace the challenges of the main unit cinematography, culminating in his pivotal role in shooting The Living Daylights and License to Kill under the direction of John Glenn. Alec's dedication to his craft was recognized by his peers, leading to his membership in the British Society of Cinematographers and his service on its Board of Governors. His legacy extends beyond the films he worked on, embodying a lifetime of dedication to the art and science of cinematography. Alec's journey from a T-boy to a respected cinematographer serves as an inspiration, reminding us of the impact of passion and hard work on achieving one's dreams. Tributes to Alec Mills reflect on a career that not only defined a golden era of British and international cinema, but also inspired future generations of filmmakers. Tributes to Alec Mills
Number two, Eddie Chiba, born Edward Sturgis, a venerated pioneer of the hip hop genre, has passed away. His influence on the early hip hop scene, particularly in New York City, was profound, setting the stage for countless artists and moguls who would follow in his footsteps. While details regarding his age and the cause of his death were not immediately disclosed, his legacy within the music community remains memorable. Chiba's career was characterized by his dynamic performances and innovative approach to DJing and rapping, earning him a place among the legends of the genre. His impact was so significant that Russell Simmons, the co-founder of Def Jam Recordings, credited him with inspiring his own entry into the music industry. Simmons mourned Chiba's loss on social media, emphasizing his critical role in the development of hip-hop and lamenting the lack of recognition afforded to him by the broader community. As a trailblazer in a time before hip-hop had found its way into recording studios, Chiba was part of a triumvirate of performers, alongside DJ Hollywood and Lovebug Starsky, who dominated the scene. Their performances were not just about music. They were cultural events that helped to shape the identity of hip-hop in its formative years. Simmons noted that the popularity and drawing power of these artists were unparalleled, with their names alone being enough to guarantee a successful show. Eddie Chiba's hospitalization last year, for undisclosed reasons, had already drawn attention from Simmons, who urged the hip-hop community to acknowledge Chiba's contributions. As tributes pour in, it's clear that Chiba's innovative spirit and foundational role in hip-hop will be remembered by those who understand the genre's history. His passing is not just the loss of a music icon, but a reminder of the ephemeral nature of recognition and the importance of honoring pioneers while they're still with us. Tributes to Eddie Chiba Today's top headlines. News 1. The baseball world mourns the loss of Don Gullett, a three-time World Series champion and a pivotal figure in the sport's history, who has passed away at the age of 73. Gullett, renowned for his dynamic pitching, contributed significantly to the Cincinnati Reds and New York Yankees during his illustrious nine-season career. With the Reds, he clinched World Series titles in 1975 and 1976 and added another championship to his legacy with the Yankees in 1977. Known for his remarkable performances in the World Series, Gullett's legacy extends beyond the field. He also served as the Reds' pitching coach, shaping future talents. His passing is a significant loss to the baseball community and his contributions to the game will forever be remembered. News 2. Tragedy strikes Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl celebration, one fatality and nine injuries. In a shocking turn of events, one person has lost their life and nine others have been injured following a shooting incident at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. The celebration turned chaotic as gunfire broke out near Union Station, causing panic among the thousands gathered to honor their champions. The Kansas City Fire Department reported three individuals in critical condition, with others sustaining serious injuries. Authorities swiftly responded, taking several suspects into custody amidst the turmoil. The community and the Chiefs team have come together in support of the victims, with heartfelt prayers for their recovery. This incident has prompted an urgent call for peace and safety in the wake of celebration as the city mourns and seeks to recover from this unexpected violence. News 3. Tragic end to search for missing hiker on Mount Baldy. The search for 22-year-old Lifey Huang, who vanished while hiking Mount Baldy during a severe winter storm, ended in heartbreak as authorities confirmed her tragic passing nearly a week after her disappearance. In a remarkable yet somber discovery, 
a civilian operating a drone located Huang's body, prompting a challenging recovery operation by the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department amid harsh mountain conditions. The community and Huang's family are mourning the loss of a vibrant life cut short by nature's unpredictability. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the dangers posed by hiking in extreme weather conditions. Officials are now urging adventurers to exercise utmost caution and reconsider mountain activities as the region continues to grapple with severe weather. Our thoughts are with Lifei Huang's loved ones during this profoundly difficult time. Number 1. Alan J. Bard, a titan in the field of chemistry and a revered professor at the University of Texas at Austin, passed away on February 11, 2024, at the age of 90. Born in New York City on December 18, 1933, Bard's educational journey began at the Bronx High School of Science, leading him to graduate from the City College of New York in 1955 and to earn advanced degrees from Harvard University. His illustrious career was primarily based at the University of Austin, where he not only advanced the frontiers of electrochemistry, but also served as the director of the Center for Electrochemistry. Bard's legacy is marked by his pioneering work, including the development of the scanning electrochemical microscope and significant contributions to the understanding of electrochemiluminescence and photoelectrochemistry of semiconductor electrodes. He was a prolific writer, authoring over a thousand research papers, several books, and holding numerous patents. His seminal textbook, Electrochemical Methods, Fundamentals and Applications, remains a cornerstone in the field. Throughout his career, Bard receives numerous accolades, including the prestigious Priestley Medal in 2002 and the Wolf Prize in Chemistry in 2008. His influence was further recognized when President Barack Obama awarded him the National Medal of Science for Chemistry in 2013. Bard's commitment to innovation and education was also honored with the Enrico Fermi Award in 2014 and the King Faisal International Prize in Chemistry in 2019. His passing is a significant loss to the scientific community and all who had the privilege of knowing him. Tributes to Alan J. Bard. <laughs>